When I first got interested in the 5G conspiracy theory, I would always joke that this was a conspiracy theory with a very short shelf life. And the reason was that when the year 2018 would come by, we would all realise that this was just a phone network. We'd realise that it's exactly the same as 4G with a little bit better capabilities. It would be more scalable. It would be better able to handle uh, urban densification. It would handle downloads at higher speeds. And I thought people would notice this. They would buy 5G phones and say to themselves, oh yeah, I guess 5G was just a phone network. But of course, I was completely wrong. Uh, if anything, the 5G conspiracy theory is stronger and louder than it ever was in the year 2017, when arguably people who were ignorant of the technology might have had a plausible argument that there was something dangerous about to be launched. We've had 5G for almost six years now, and as far as I'm aware, it hasn't killed or maimed or burnt or incinerated anybody. And yet the proponents of this conspiracy theory are larger, louder, and more ubiquitous than ever. And perhaps amongst those charlatans, there is one man who stands out as being the most effective communicator of this conspiracy theory. And I'm not talking about Mark Steele or Gary Waterman. Those guys are small fries. I, I only talk about them because they're hilarious examples of ludicrous conspiracy theorists. The person I want to talk about today is actually a genuinely dangerous cult leader in the conspiracy universe. He has over 6 million followers on his YouTube channel, which even though that has been demonetized as a result of many sexual harassment allegations, he has a, a very profitable channel on Rumble, and he has an absolutely unhinged audience of people who seem to hang on his every word. The person I'm talking about is, of course, Russell Brand. And here is Russell Brand talking about 5G. Today, it's 5G. Conspiracy theory or conspiracy fact. I suppose on the basis that it's one of those ideas and stories that's difficult to come to a cast iron or irrefutable take on. The video clip you're looking at right now is from Russell Brand's Awakened Wonders members site. You, you have to be a paying member to see this kind of video content. Membership starts at a minimum of six pounds per month. And I actually joined Russell Brand's membership program just to get this content. The video was called What They Aren't Telling You About 5G. And based on the title, you would presume that this was some kind of very deep revelation about what it is, uh, whoever it is they are, have refused to reveal. But, but actually, as we'll see, the video consists entirely of Russell speculating about a number of conspiracy theories related to 5G and quoting from conspiracy theory type websites. It's entirely a, a very lazy production. And if I were a member of Russell's membership site, I would be thinking very strongly about cancelling my membership. Well, actually, I did cancel my membership. As soon as I downloaded this video, I cancelled because it, all of Russell's content is precisely this kind of twaddle. This is a good pricey of what some of the concerns about 5G. 5G is dangerous and will harm every living being. Thousands of studies link low-level wireless radio frequency radiation exposures to a long list of adverse biological effects, including DNA single and double strand breaks, oxidative damage, disruption of cell metabolism, increased blood-brain barrier permeability, melatonin This reduction. very scary list of 5G-related symptoms is not actually from any kind of academic source or peer-reviewed document. It's actually a viral PDF written by a recently deceased Australian civil servant. Uh, in fact, the entire content of this PDF was cribbed from the website of a gentleman called Lloyd Burrell. And Lloyd is a New Zealand-based naturopath, uh, and he has some very strange beliefs in, in addition to his 5G conspiracy mongering. He, he believes that you can use a, uh, a radio like this Sony tuner to detect dirty electricity from light bulbs. Should we be afraid of that? Well, Lloyd thinks we should. He also likes to sell 
ghost hunting equipment, uh, although he doesn't market it as such. We're talking about the Trifield EMF meter. It's one of the least reliable devices in this category you might ever find. And that's why people whose hobby is detecting ghosts love the Trifield. Not because it's accurate, but for the exact opposite reason. The Trifield generates so many bizarre and spurious indications that the, the sorts of people who believe in ghosts like to indulge in the fantasy that they have found some kind of spectral entity or, or a spirit from beyond the grave. It's such a bizarrely inaccurate machine that uh, ghost hunting is just about the only thing that you might do with it. Uh, it's really unsuitable for the purpose that uh, Lloyd Burrell intends, which is actually detecting electromagnetic radiation in the household. But let's go back to Russell, because he has proposed uh, a, a sort of natural experiment. If the kinds of people who run the World Economic Forum are not surrounding themselves with 5G, well, wouldn't that be a good indication that 5G is harmful? Is there anything, like any evidence, like where do you imagine there's a density of 5G towers and where do you reckon you hardly ever find 5G towers? On average, what's the ratio of 5G towers that are in sort of wealthy areas? I'd love to know where 5G towers are situated. If they go, Knightsbridge is full of them. In the richest district, 5G towers are on every corner. Would you say that, broadly speaking, 5G towers happen to be situated in areas where people are economically disadvantaged? That's just a question. Again, I don't have any data on that. This is just all in the spirit of inquiry. If I had still been a member of Russell Brand's £6 a month video club, I think I would be very disappointed that he hasn't bothered to check this very easily verified hypothesis that he has so casually tossed out. He's arguing that uh, if 5G is dangerous, then there would be no 5G or perhaps less 5G in well-to-do areas and more 5G in impoverished areas. So we, we can check whether the, the posh parts of London, for example, the places where he just mentioned, like Kensington or Knightsbridge, we can check whether they have 5G or not. And that's very easily done because the availability of 5G is something that the phone companies very carefully plot out. You, you can see this chart shows the availability of 5G on the 3 network, which most people seem to think is the UK's least capable network. And what about this one here? This is the EE network, which tends to cost a lot more to, to be a customer of. And you can see as well, this network offers extensive coverage, both internally and externally, on the 5G network. And we, we can even look at the kinds of buildings in, in the specific area that Russell was talking about. That is the, the, the Park Tower in Kensington. And you can see on top of it, well, those are 5G transmitters radiating in all of the directions. I think Russell is clearly wrong. He, he's talking bullshit. He, he obviously has some kind of agenda. I, I wonder what that could be. But today, amid rape and sexual assault allegations, YouTube stopped the comedian from monetizing ads. But this morning, they have come back with a statement saying, If a creator's off-platform behavior harms our users, employees, or ecosystem, we take action to protect the community. We have suspended monetization on Russell Brand's channel for violating our creator responsibility policy. The decision applies to all channels that may be owned or operated by the 48-year-old, it added. There is, however, what is called paid promotion. So you might be familiar with YouTubers sometimes in the middle of their video, they themselves will stop, look at the camera and promote a product or a website or a service. Surely not, Russell. Surely he is far too big and famous to be hawking ridiculous anti-5G talismans, completely useless products that uh, purport to protect the, the bearer or the wearer from the deadly invisible 5G rays. R Russell, well, you wouldn't do a thing like that, would you?
Over 20 years invested in research and development, Airs Tech Technology creates synergy between you and your devices by modulating and transforming chaotic frequencies to match our own biological energy. Unlock better wellness. Go to airstech.com and use the code RUSSELL30 for 30% off your entire purchase. Of course he would. Uh, there's literally no scam too low that, that Russell Brand would not stoop to it. Uh, he thinks absolutely nothing of using these kinds of bizarre, preposterous lies to part his gullible nitwit fans from their money. That, that's what Russell Brand does these days. That is how he makes his money. He, he's selling these things. These are Aries Life Tune talismans. You, you, you stick them onto your phone and they protect you from whatever weirdy woohoo magic is emanating from the 5G transmitters, or, or possibly the phone in your pocket, or, or, or who knows what else. Uh, apparently, they can protect you from absolutely everything, and they can reharmonize your what's it and, and, and make your everything a whole load better. It, it's a, a purely magical product for gullible people. Uh, and uh, <laughs> guess who bought a pair of them? Th these are actually a prize. Um, so I, anybody who can think of a, a fun way to analyze what these things actually are. If you have uh, some kind of capability of taking them apart and, and uh, examining them layer by layer, and maybe help me do another show on, on what, just what they actually put into these things, uh, uh, please contact me via my email address, which is at the top of my YouTube page, or via my Telegram channel, and I'll get these things sent out to you. And maybe we can do another episode uh, just to find out exactly what it is that, um, that Russell is selling here. That's why I'm happy to tell you that Airtech are the only published, peer-reviewed, patented EMF protection solution. That means electromagnetic field, you know that. Trusted by experts, neuroscientists, doctors, biohackers, and pro-fighting athlete cage fighters, its effectiveness has been proven in real time using EEG brain scan demonstrations. Remove the fear and unknown levels of daily exposure and have peace of mind with Airtech life tune protection. Selling these kinds of magical talismans is not a new grift. It's, in fact, one of the oldest grifts that has ever existed. For as long as there have been human beings afraid of something, there has always been a, a, a witch doctor or a charlatan who offers some kind of talisman or, or trinket that will purportedly protect you from it, uh, whether it be witches or bullets. There's always somebody out to make a buck by exploiting somebody's fear. Uh, except that 5G scams tend to come and go a hell of a lot more quickly than most other kind of garden variety bullshit scams. And um, do you remember, it was only five years ago, uh, at the height of the lockdown, where another gentleman with a more than passing similarity to Russell Brand was selling a very similar kind of scam. So this is uh, the 5G BioShield for people that... And I would like to show you the Resitone 5G protection device. My experience with the Resitone USB. So the technology is a, it's a USB. It... Simon Parks love it very, very much. We have been in conversation with Sasha Stone, representatives of the scientists who have created a... looks like a USB stick. Uh... Our plasmoids which are coupled to an entanglement with the meta-consciousness force. You know, from that moment on, I never go anywhere without my Resotone product. Converting harmful radiation into useful radiation. It's coming from Russia. It was originally designed to uh, assist people when the Chernobyl nuclear reactor exploded. The radiation itself does not disappear but is converted into another form. Where I just held it to protect me. Protect me, protect me. Why is it that you never see Sasha Stone and Russell Brand in the same place? As far as I know, they have never been seen together. Could, could it be that uh, they are one and the same person? Because they certainly seem to have the same kind of technique when it comes to selling entirely spurious anti-EMF protection devices. What you just saw was 5G BioShield, which was also marketed under the name of 5G Resotone Shield, uh, an entirely non-functional product in the form of a USB stick that Sasha Stone marketed to his equally gullible nitwit followers. Uh, and now we see 
Russell Brand doing precisely the same thing, only Russell has gone one better. R Russell is a much bigger star of the Conspiriverse, and, and he has this awakened wonder community. It's a one-two punch. First, you make the awakened wonders afraid of 5G by creating this in entirely nonsensical video, what they aren't telling you about 5G, in, in which you simply repeat the most frightening sounding conspiracy theories. And then, having a captive audience who is terrified of an intangible, harmless thing, you then proceed to sell them the solution to their fears. Have one of these in your area. And remember, if you're on Awakened Wonder, you can see in our 5G video exactly why this stuff is so important. It's amazing that this scam continues. That the 5G conspiracy theory, far from dying out, is growing. People like Richard Vobes and Gary Waterman, who are relatively new to the conspiriverse, well, they've recently taken on this conspiracy theory and they're making it their own. They're, they're each adding their own unique twists. And Mark Steele, people who are old stalwarts of the, of the 5G conspiracy grift, they're, they're still in there as well. Each of them is, is adding something new to the conspiracy theory. And they're all riffing off each other. They're all building a, a collective narrative based on, on this fear, which in turn allows them all to continue selling whatever it is their product is. That's just how a fear scam works. If you have a captive audience of nitwits, you can make them do what you want. Maybe you can make them buy your product. Maybe they can donate to you. Or maybe you just have them in thrall. Maybe they are your followers, supplicants, people who will do what you want when you need them to do something. There are many reasons why a, a conspiracy fear scammer might want to make an audience afraid. And, and what we've seen today is, is Russell, with perhaps the most simple and craven version of the scam, one where he just simply does it to extract money. Anyway, that's today's episode of Mind of Steel. Be back in a week when I promise you I will have a, an absolutely tantalizing episode in which two of our old favorite conspiracy theorists go at it, neck and neck. It's, a, it's another truther turf war, and I couldn't be more excited to present it to you. So I'll see you in a week.